Have you ever wanted to start a business, but you don't have the capital and you're wondering, well, how do people start businesses if they don't have any money? Have you, do you also have a 401k, like with an old employer that you haven't used? Well, if you said yes to these two things, one, you want to start a business and two, you have 401k money that's sitting in an old 401k, we can actually use them, use that money to start a business. It's called a ROBS, um, Rollover Business Startup. That's what it stands for, a ROBS. So this is really, really beneficial for, say, the the salon person who's been uh, renting her chair space at the salon, has a 401k set up, and she's been working, 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 and she really wants to go and start her own salon. This is actually how it got started, um, These how it got one in conference, uh, Congress, how it got one over in Congress to get this approved to be able to start these ROB structures. So if you're thinking that this might be for you, um, here's, here's the details, a little bit of the details um, to get you started. The first thing is that you have to have an old 401k. You have to be able to start up a new company and it has to be a C Corp. Um, it has to be a C Corp, that is the law. Um, it has to be a corporation, and you will have to be paid as a W-2 employee from that C-Corp. You're also going to need to set up a new 401k. Um, get you set up with a safe harbor 401k, for that way you can start paying employees and have them contribute to the retirement program. And the key is, is I recommend, um, if at all possible, that 401k money, have it be a Roth 401k, like, um, like we'll have to convert it, but ultimately get it to be what's in a, you can have traditional and Roth in a 401k. We want to convert it to the Roth 401k first. And the reason why is when you go ahead and what we're going to do is take that old 401k money and we're going to buy shares into the C Corp. And I kind of recommend having 99% of the shares owned by the 401k. You're buying in 99, 98, around there, 99, 98% of the shares owned by your retirement. And then one or 2% owned by you or maybe a partner, right? And that way, when you're making money, and it has to be a legit business. Um, it can't, um, you have to be actually working in the business. It can't be like a whole bunch of like holding companies. Um, you can have LLCs underneath it. You cannot have any S corps underneath uh, the, the C corp. Um, but then when you're, you're working, you need to be able to create enough money to create a W2. And then the, you're going to have a 401k there. You can potentially put up to, I think it's 30, 40, 69%, no, 69,000, sorry, 69,000 into your, 401k per year, your solo or your safe harbor 401k. And then at the end of the year, your company, your, your board members, and you would be on the board can make a decision that the profits, um, you, you make, you make dividends with your profits. So what you can do is you can pay out the dividends at the end of the year, whatever you decide to pay out, as long as there's cash flow, right? And then you will get, um, you know, 1099 for your one or 2% of your dividends. And then the rest of it, um, say, say you have $100, $1 goes to you and $99 of dividends for the year goes to your retirement, goes back into, because remember your, your retirement owns 99%, right? So then say, if we have $100 worth of dividends for the year, $1 goes to you, $99 goes back into your retirement. And remember, this is Roth money. We want it to be Roth, so now it's growing tax-free. So all that money that goes back into it grows tax-free. And I've actually had a couple of clients who have ROBS. They didn't know that they had ROBS. They don't have ROBS set up the correct way that I would like them. They're just traditional. And they're talking about selling their businesses. Um... So if we have it set up properly, the correct way that I would recommend to begin with as a Roth, when they sell their company uh, for one and a half million, two and a half million, whatever it is, um, 
it's paid out 1% goes to you where you would have to pay taxes on. So it really limits your, your um, capital gains. And then the 99% goes back into your retirement. Well, if it's a traditional, you're going to be taxed on it when you take it out of your retirement. If it's a Roth, it's keep on growing tax-free. Whenever you take it out, it's tax-free. So we can ultimately grow that business that you want to build and start. Keep on growing it, growing it, sell it for big bucks. You'll want to work with the correct people um, if this is your exit plan. And I always recommend starting a business with an exit plan in mind. That way you know what you're going to do with it. Um, you know how you're going to get out of it. And, but this is a great way. It's really great for wealth building. Um, this is how a lot of people are building their wealth or building up in a ROBS and then funding the majority of the ownership with their 401k. And if it's a Roth 401k, then um, it's tax free when you take it out. If it's a traditional, unfortunately, it's going to keep on growing. And when you take it out, you're going to pay taxes on it. Um, but there are some things that we can do. Um, we can do a, we can switch the traditional over to a Roth, um, but we'll still have to pay taxes on it when we convert it to a backdoor Roth. So there's there's all kinds of different strategies that we can do. But ultimately, Robs is great if you have old 401k money sitting around that you're not doing anything with. You'd like to start a business, and it's also great for wealth building. Um, because remember, you're also getting a W two for your living wages. Um, so that you're having your social security and Medicare taxes taken out of. So it's, it's a great structure for some people. Um, not a lot of people know about it and it's not super popular, um, so, but it is for the, the right person. So if this piques your interest, obviously go ahead and book a call with us, book a discovery call. You'll get to talk with Liz and she will see if you're a good fit and then we'll have a comprehensive consultation. That's where I meet with you for like an hour to hour and a half and get a full picture of everything that's going on in your business. And I'll come up with an action item list of things that we could do to save you money on taxes, to protect your assets, and to build a legacy for you. All right, that's everything. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.